the Rothschild family played the vital role by giving money to Balfour, the Prime Minister of England, after the fall of Ottoman Empire. It was the weakening part of it after the World War I and between World War II, they know it, that this is something going to be, you know, fragile, fragility, and they use that because they know it that ha as long as this Ottoman Empire, Mahmoud II, he was going to sit there, he will not let us to go back to Holy Land because he refused it to take any kind of ransom over it or bribery. So they used the last days to got British mandate. Ottoman Empire was fallen down in 1924. In 1970, this was started postulating. And after that, this Lord, what you call Rothschild, they wrote the letter, Balfour. Theodore Hulls first wrote the letter to him that we want your help, sir. And then later on, Balfour Declaration 1, it was the again thing that they did independent state and that was the British mandate. They were having control. That's it. They can let these people in now one by one. And when the second Balfour Declaration happened, 1948, Israel became the independent state politically. And that time, all these were people, they were going there. Droves after droves, ships after ships, brought all the things and they bought the lands from Palestinian Arabs. Some lands were brought legally and some were being forced out or somehow in other way under the table. So I don't blame that. It was also some mistakes of Palestinians there who let them buy it. But they didn't know their evil intentions. That's the point here. They were thinking that this is like, like brotherhood, like cousins. We're going to live together, but they don't know what was happening under this all. They were speaking under tongue under the cheek. These Jews were playing, flim flamming them, hoodwinking them, subterfuging them, bamboozling them. It's like a trickster, you know, like a Dajjal. They were doing from the first day. They were taking the unfair advantage of Arabs' leniency, their latitude. They took unfair advantage of that and then they took it. Well, still slowly they created their first city, Tel Aviv. And then they said, this is the point of our starting. This is the political aspect, guys. Now they are not ready to give you even one chunk. Slowly they occupied the more, you know, territories on and on. You know, the seven day war, Yom Kippur, it happened. And what happened? The Egyptians got lost it. And the whole part of the other also went to them. Golan Heights went to them. Uh, the southern part went to them. And now they are expanding and keep occupying the things because now they want Gaza Strip to be evacuated, which is already did it. Now, Rafa, maybe they have the plan here to make the Ben Gurion Canal so they can access the half of the Eastern globe through that canal instead of using Swiss Canal. And this is the plan they were, and you need a clear empty planes to create the canals. And this is what they're ha happening as a political, but this political movement has the connection with religious aspects of Dajjal because they believe these all things must happen. And of course, always these three things are interconnected. Every kind of history, social, political, economics are always interconnected because they support one another as a domino effect.